Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Let me introduce to you Mr. Obaid. Uh, Mr. Obaid is very very well known star in the Middle East. Uh, he is a kind of a movie star, you know, and he is the kind who teach everybody about everything. Whatever you want to know, ask Obaid. Obaid have the answer. And now he is teaching us and train the Shia that they are the reason people are leaving Islam. Mm -hmm. The Shia only is the reason, and actually the one is leaving Islam is from the Shia. Listen to Obaid and let us see and learn how Obaid uh, uh, he uh, he do his uh, lies in a very funny way. Sunni Muslims. Not a single person left Islam in that 95 percent. They are growing like hell. Not a single Muslim Sunni left Islam. Did you hear it? Just just wait. There are five three sects of that five percent the other I'll the Muslims they are 73 sects according to Obaid by the way that is not true his prophet he said the Muslims will become 73 72 of them will go to hell and one of them will go to heaven now which one no one have an idea and the prophet of Islam he said they are going to do to be the minority which mean if you are so proud Mr. Obaid about being the majority according to your prophet it's mean you are the one is going to hell because according to your prophet this sect is going to be the minority so you just to prove that you are going to hell and by the way the Shia cannot be the one who will go to heaven because still they are not minority they are about 400 million of the Muslims so who is the one who will go to heaven according to your prophet as he said in that hadith as long they are the minority one sect only and they are the minority so we have to go to the smallest Islamic sect exist like who like the Druze who worship vagina so the Druze will go to heaven according to your prophet and all of you you are going to hell guaranteed now let us see why mr. Obaid he is angry from the Shia there 95 percent are Sunni Muslims and by the way, you can watch another video to Mr. Obaid. He was so excited when, when, uh, when a, a bishop in the Vatican, he said that uh, today the Muslims became more than the Catholic. And the bishop at that time, he was counting all the Muslims in the world. Obaid, he did not complain about it. He was so excited. So Obaid himself, the hypocrite, he count the Shia as Muslims when he want. And he don't count them as Muslims when he want. This is what the Muslims do. If you ask them how many Muslims in the world, they will say 1.2 billion. Are they the Sunni or the Shia? They say both. You know. So why you are counting them if you if you consider the Shia not Muslims? Let us see more. Not a single person left Islam in that 95 percent. They are growing like hell. Islam and Sunni they are growing like hell. Maybe growing in hell. I have no idea. But growing like hell, I believe in that because hell have to fit for them after all now listen Ubaid I will show everyone in here that you are a liar I will show you from Morocco from Algeria which no Sunni or sorry no, no, no one can say this is not a Sunni country this is a Sunni country and there is no Shia in Algeria or Morocco and you will see and everybody will see how we can expose you as a liar let us see Another battle is being waged, this one for the hearts and souls of Algerians. Muslims are coming to Christ here as never before, mostly in mountain villages among Berber ethnic groups. Yusuf Rahman is an Algerian pastor. Syria is still growing fast, I have no doubt about it. And the, uh, the TV has been tremendous impact in the lives of the people there, especially of course the Arabic television stations where for the first time, many Algerians, of course, they watch and to see and to hear Muslim converts who are preaching, who are teaching and telling their stories, and also getting some facts about their Islam and the faith in the Quran. Christianity existed in which has grown to about 70,000 adherents. 70% 70 of the Christians are under the age of 30. Hundreds stand in line for more than an hour just to attend services in this church building. Proselytizing Muslims is against the law in Algeria. Regardless, this evangelist, a former Muslim, travels on trains playing a guitar, singing Christian songs, and telling passengers about Christ. The train ride lasts about five to six hours. 
so he says he has a captive audience. Passengers cannot leave. Pastor Yusuf says overcoming fear of Muslims has been crucial to church growth. It has been the key, and I think the church has really a missionary minded church now. They want to see more people coming to faith, they want to see more churches being planted, and they want to see that there's. Right, right, right. In your. This Khorasan killing in the streets, you know, with the bloods. You know, the Muslim Sunni, they don't kill in the street. The Muslim Sunni, they are so very, very nice, very nice. You know, a Muslim Sunni, when you see him, you can touch him like a cat. You know, you know, uh, uh, Ubaid, I love listening to you, honestly. But to be honest with you, if a cat convert to Islam and became a Sunni, regardless Sunni or Shia, both of you are the same. She will have a bomb and she will suicide herself so she can go to heaven and get a lot of meme, a male who will go bing bing to her. Or if he's a male cat, he will get a lot of female cats all day long. You do nothing except being horny. So Ubaid, you are lying to who? The Shia, they are the one who is doing bloodshed? Not the Sunni? You little, 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 little Ubaid, you know, Ubaid is so cute, Ubaid. You are so cute, honestly. Honest to Allah, brother. May Allah give you blessing for your lies. Obeyed, all what you need to do, write the word Mujahideen in YouTube and you will see what will scare the hell of everyone. This is who they are, your brothers in Islam. Those are the real Muslims. And your Prophet himself, in his Quran, he mentioned and he said it's a duty for every Muslim to be a terrorist. At least the Shia, when they do cut their head, with their hand, they are doing it to themselves, they are not doing it to others. And the See? blood gushes out from oh, his head. Islam is against this that. This is why people leaving Islam to another religion, they're becoming Christians. Some people are worshipping rabbits now. Can you believe it? And some oh, I believe it, I believe it. Let me ask you a question. Which one is better, your God, Allah, or the rabbit? Oh, honestly, it's a good question. I will show you why we are leaving Islam Abayd and I will make everybody in here laugh at you this is your majesty teaching us how you do lie in Islam this is your video people they can go see it it's on your page what did you say in there Abayd you forgot let me remind you when and how Muslims can lie from the mouth of Abayd so then we will learn if we really can trust a Muslim telling us about Islam. Listen carefully. This is Ubaid is telling us when a Muslim he can lie. We have a serious lies. We are allowed to... See, the Muslims, they have serious lies. What was those serious lies? Lie three times. Three times. For a lawful reason. For war, uh -huh. friendship and family. That's the... Three lies. Muslim is allowed to lie. Serious lie for war, friendship, and family. Question, what is left? If you are allowed, you know, forget about war. Okay, you know, you want to survive yourself, you want to protect yourself, you might lie, no problem. No problem, I accept that, this is reality. But lying to your friends, you are allowed. Lying to your family, you are allowed. So what is left? The only thing you did not mention, lying to animals. Like talking to your goat, lying to her, saying to her, I'm, I'm going to give you some grass, but you don't. So if you lie to war, in war, and you lie to family, and you lie to friends, who is left, Mr. Obeid? To lie three times. For a lawful reason. For war, friendship, and family. That's the three areas where God allowed you to lie. God allowed you to lie. As I said, Mark 10, 19, it's very clear. Don't be false witnesses. Don't bear witnesses. Don't be witness for a false. Don't ever lie. Never, ever. This is why Jesus, he said, you are not allowed even to take an oath in the name of God. Either you say yes, yes, or no, no. Because if you are telling the truth, there is no need to swear. But you, your God himself, he do swear. Now this is why Mr. Obaid people leave Islam because they found that Islam allowed them people to lie which is not a trustee worthy.
No one can trust a God allowing people to lie. Shame on your God Allah and shame on you. See ya. Jesus is Lord teaching the truth and order us to say only the truth and God of Islam teach lie and order Muslims to do lie.